and I'm back with another brand new Brian's Action Figure Reviews. And today I've got something from Bandai USA. I gotta thank those guys. This is something brand new for the channel. I have never watched this, so Brian don't know what's going on here. Um, it is from Saint Seiya, Knights of the Zodiac. And it is... Gemini Saga. So this guy looks really, really cool. <coughs> Comments in the description, guys. Drop comments below if you want to tell me how wrong I am about this figure. Because I'm not going to lie. I do not know a lot about him. Um, but he comes with a helmet. All gold armor. Different ar different hands and stuff. And he looks really, really cool. Looking forward to getting him out of the box. He also comes with a headpiece. If you look at the back, you've got Sagittarius, Ola and Pegasus. Say also from the same show. And you get all the legally stuff in the bottom there. And on the side, you got a picture of Gemini Saga on the back, on the side there. And on the top, it says Anime Heroes. Anime Heroes is another line from the guys at Bandai USA who also brought you Dragon Stars from Dragon Ball Z. Which, in fairness, needs its own line because there's so many characters in that. But let's break this guy out of the box and let's see what Anime Heroes is like. So here is... Gemini Saga out of the box. And let's go through his um, or his um, accessories first. So he does come with this nice looking headpiece. Which is really really cool. Now unfortunately it does not fit on his head. Because of his crazy hair. Now he does hold it obviously. But I don't see a need for it. Unless... They were actually going to put a different head in the box. Which they didn't. So this is a very strange one to me. Why. Now maybe someone who knows the show better. Can tell me why. This comes in the box. And not. Anyway. He also comes with two more sets of hands. Two more grabbing hands. That just fly away. <laughs> and two different like wider hands. Now I can imagine. He can hold this with that, etc. But anyway, so let's get on to the figure itself. The, the armor is really nice. Now, my one thing is the armor is cool and it's really cool. But it, it hinders a lot of the articulation on this guy, especially the legs. So let's have a look at the articulation. Head does not move a whole lot as you can see the hair goes all the way back here so you don't get a lot of head movement because of that and I think the hair is actually two separate pieces now I'm not sure if they come off they probably do but if they do they probably don't come back on so the shoulders the arms you'll get them to go out this far this is a solid piece it will not move so you're very limited on what you can do with the arms you do have bicep swivels and you do have double jointed elbows but they are all like uh, hindered by the armour. So these are not well thought out figures. The hands are on a ball that rotates and goes up and down. There is a bit of a, a waist swivel goes all the way around. The skirt is kind of movable but it won't, it won't move so much that you can move the legs. Legs will go out this far. Will go up this far. Now there is a twist. So you can twist it around like that. It does have a double knee joint. Again. It is so so hindered by the the armour. It's very disappointing really. This one doesn't though. I think maybe that one could be just stuck. No there we go. So you do get a good double jointed knee on those. The ankles. You get some up and down movement. And side to side. Again, though, it is so, so hindered by this armor. It's a very badly engineered figure, in my opinion. And there you have it, the first. We wouldn't have a Bandai USA review without a figure losing his leg. But again, they just pop back on. So it is no biggie. They do have that up and down motion that causes them to do that anyway. So let's look at the face. The face looks really good, but the hair is covering his eyes a little bit. 
But you can see in there, he's looking to the right, it seems. Let's try and get some of that up. Again, folks, just be careful what you're doing. But yeah, that's not going to move for me. So guys, let's do some comparisons on this guy. They are about 5 inch scale. Here he is with a Marvel Legends scroll. So about the same height there. Here is the Marvel Legends Greg Argyle. Here he is with his fellow Saint Seiya friend. Who is a bit about the same height. Yep. And here he is with a WWE Elite Scale AJ Styles. So as you can see the scale is pretty small on these guys. They're the very same as it will fit in with your Dragon Stars. And the other anime heroes figures. So if you want to do that. You can have some epic anime battles right there. And yeah guys. So what do you think of this figure? Myself. I'm not impressed. It's not that good of a figure. There, it is severely limited by the armor. And of course the hair at the back. It is very accurate though. I will say that. But, but it has. It does lose a lot with the armor so guys let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you soon and have a good day and don't forget to subscribe and like as well we'll see you later bye